I just smoked some crack. I mean, I cracked the secret to Elbaf. Everything from power-ups, characters, fights, and lore for you lore whores. And even though I spit facts, just like Big Mom spitting on my meat, giving me that me hawk tua treatment, some of you may disagree. So in this video, we'll be playing a game of Arc Assumptions. I'll give you four questions with three possible answers. If I get more predictions right than you, then you have to subscribe. And if you get more right than me, I'll give you some feet picks. And Usopp will gain some impressive feats this arc. So let's pick on him first. All right, the three possible power-ups are Conqueror's Hockey, Observation Hockey, or a new weapon. Many of you think I'm joking about Usopp getting Conqueror's, but we can't ignore that all of Usopp's lies come true. This happened with a giant goldfish, the army in Dress Rosa, a giant mole in the building, and lastly, his schlong being as long as his nose. Okay, maybe the last one needs to be confirmed, but Usopp confirmed to us in Wano that he knocked out soldiers with his conqueror's hockey. Let's take a step back and look at the definition of f**k hockey. This hockey type is only possessed by those with kingly ambitions. And there's a theory that Usopp is the alleged warrior sniper king. Am I reaching? Yeah, reaching for the f**king oven because I just cooked a whole ass pizza. Would you like a slice or one piece? But like pizza, something feels cheesy about Usopp unlocking this in Elbaf. I see Oda reserving this for Usopp's final battle. And I see Usopp looking into the future with future sight. Usopp already used basic observation in Dress Rosa. Advanced observation seems like the natural next step. No, not those steps. Anything but down these stairs. It's okay, Zoro. He can't hurt you anymore. More than this being a good non overpowered power up, Usopp will need this against his fight with Van Auger, since Auger can teleport at will from goodwill next to the will of D in seconds. Our brave warrior can only beat Auger if he predicts his next spot. And Spotted Plants is one of the weapons Usopp has in his arsenal, but he could use more versatility. More specifically, replacing his goofy ah contraption of two frying pans. Wouldn't it be awesome? No. Astonishing? No. Dare I even say, neat. If Usopp got a hammer, and with all the links to giants in Norse mythology, I wouldn't put it past Usopp to drop his balls and lift Thor's hammer. After all, God Usopp is worthy, and it's worthwhile guessing which option is most likely. I'd have to say, I observe observation hockey coming true. And I truly believe I'll need a truly if we get a return of these characters. So let's look at the lineup. We got Mad Monk Yuruj, Enel, and Kid. I've been awaiting for Yuruj to have his arc ever since he was introduced in Saba Odi. And it's finally time. Time for my blackberry pie to finish baking. Mmm, this is delicious. Would you like one or two pieces? But besides being the last supernova to be relevant, your rouge could be connected to Elbaf. We know that there's alternate routes to get to Skypea, as mentioned by Gandalf. Well, what if one such route is through a giant tree? In Norse mythology, there's a tree called Yggdrasil, which is said to connect the nine realms. If such a tree existed on Elbaf, it could be the fable tree, Treasure Tree Adam, which connects Sky Islands to the land. This would be a perfect parallel to Yggdrasil reaching the heavens, aka Valhalla. And since Yuruj has been shown on Sky Island, I think we can confidently say that we will see him not in El there. Because Enel is actually on the moon. After Luffy fisted his ah, Enel set up camp on the moon and recruited a bunch of robots to do his bidding. So will Enel and men make a comeback like the real Slim Shady? Well, he can return at any point since he has a flying ship called the Ark Maxim. And if we're keeping with the Norse themes, then the god of lightning, <coughs> Thor, will be the one to defeat Loki. But Loki, I don't think Eustace Kiddo is deado. Let me explain. Oda has trouble killing off. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I really believe that kid isn't dead. As their ship was destroyed and they were falling to the sea, the narrator said destroyed, not killed. If they were dead, I think the language would be less ambiguous. I mean, I destroyed Big Mom's wooha earlier, but does that mean she's... Okay, bad example. So what are the kid pirates doing? I'm sure the giants fish them up and are holding them in a cell somewhere. They'll most likely team up with Luffy for the final fight of the arc. But before we get to the fight, we gotta pick the most likely pick. Mad Monk Yuruj is the wrong answer. It's the wrong answer. Wait, what? Oh, you see? I usually include a tricky answer in my videos, but I just doubled the trick by saying that Yuruj is the wrong answer, is the wrong answer which would make it the right answer. What do you think of that, L? This is my perfect victory. That's right, I win. And who's gonna win the final fights in these arcs? The fights being Straw Hats versus Loki, Blackbeard versus Shanks, and Giant Army versus Marine Army. Loki is a god of deception and mischief, and Usopp is regarded as a god and often deceives others 
which is why it only makes sense that Luffy fights Loki. What the hell? Oh my god, no way! Let me explain. As much as I want this to be Usopp's arc, it's always Luffy defeating the main villain. This happened recently on Egghead, where I wanted nothing more for this bear man to kill this spider man. But alas, he wasn't strong enough, so Luffy had to pave the way. And it's way more likely that Usopp discovers Loki's secret and has Luffy finish him off. Again, this is all speculation as Loki might be like the Marvel Loki and be a good bad guy. And another battle between a good and a bad guy will be between Shanks and Blackbeard. Even though Shanks was on Elbaf when he... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's unlikely that he's still there. Oda will likely delay the reunion of Luffy and Shanks and edge us a little longer. And the longer we get into this year, the closer we get to this big battle. You see, Oda's message in Jump Festa 2024 said that at last, it'll happen. The battle between that character and that character may lead to unexpected results. I agree, it's vague, but considering Shanks has been looking for Blackbeard, I think it's about damn time. It's the part about the unexpected result that's tripping me up. Could Shanks die? Could one of them claim the One Piece? Do they have a Davy back fight? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. It would be pretty ball Z of the Marine to attack Elbaf. This is a Yonko territory and home to the giant pirates. But given that the Gorosei went to Egghead to eliminate Dr. Vegapunk, I wouldn't put it past them to spin back. Plus, many of you may have noticed that post time skip arcs mirror pre time skip ones. Most recently, Egghead resembled Saba Odi, so having a war arc at Elbaf would make a lot of sense, except this time it's Marines invading a pirate base. If you want to be a technical nerd, you'd argue, Hey, we're missing the Nimpel Down arc. No, Sigma Hat, stop slapping me with your horse long. I can't take it anymore. But don't worry, you incels. For Impel, will still happen, as Cross Guild is on its way to free my glorious king, Do Flamingo. Free my boy, Dalfi, he ain't do nothing wrong. And the wrong answer from these three is A. We just don't have enough insight into Loki to make that assumption. It's between B and C, and I'm between a BBC and a BBW, and soon, this pit roast will make me come, and the first letter of come is C. So let's go with that. That fight would be crazy, but not as crazy as the lore we're gonna get. I've narrowed it down to three peak secrets, Joy Boy, the 100 year void, and the man with the burn scar. We've received a lot of clues that Joy Boy was a giant, the giant hat in Emu's dungeon, other members of the crew like Emmeth and Zunisha being giants. I don't think it's a giant stretch for Joy Boy to be a giant. Get it? Giant stretch? Because he had the Nika fruit and was a giant. I tried to simplify the joke, but if you don't get it, comment below and I'll reply with an in-depth explanation. It was a pretty clever joke, not gonna lie. And no joke, the giants know what's up. Why did they call Luffy Sun God? Only a few other people like the Gorosei and Zunisha have called him that. And that's not the only thing they know. You see, a giant's lifespan can be 300 to 400 years long. If the Void Century was 800 to 900 years ago, that's only 2 to 3 generations, which means the history of the 100 year void could have easily been passed down by our grandfather giant to their grand giant son. I know when I'm old, I'll be telling my grandchildren, When I was your age, I edged to hentai with my hands like a real man. Yeah, yeah, grandpa. I'ma go breed my sex robot with generative AI that adapts to my sensations for an ultimate tuning experience. And the experience of the void could have easily trickled down without any censorship since the world government has never affiliated with Elbaf. But it would be pretty El baffling if we found out where the last road poneglyph is. We know it's being guarded with a man with a burn scar. And there's a lot of theories. Like in general, there's a lot of theories out there. Just like the theory that the man out there is a giant. If Joy Boy was actually a giant, it would make sense that the last road poneglyph resided with a giant. Perhaps he knows the secrets of the world and is hesitant to let just anyone acquire the One Piece. And although this man may not be on Elbaf, the giants there should have an idea on who and where he is. Is this the most likely choice? Nah, we still don't have enough evidence to confirm this. So A or B, they could both happen, but I'ma pick A and say oh boy for Joy Boy. Enjoy this video, I hope you did. So my final answers are B A C A, spelling back. Let me know your answers, or if you think this video is a bunch of baloney, comment that too. But don't say this video was a bunch of baloney, that would be unoriginal. And most importantly, 
Don't forget to suggest a pink color for my toes if I lose and subscribe for more One Piece and anime content. Bye bye!